So if you've seen the previous video, uh, long so you would have seen we made this lovely trench coat here. Um, I'm just going to go over a quick way of doing this. We're not going to use this trench coat. We're just going to do it from scratch. So main thing is make sure you have your human mail uh, in edit mode. Um, once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that any face that is uh, going to be covered by our clothing is selected. So very quickly, I do this with alt and right click um, because I'm incredibly lazy and like to risk things going wrong. Uh, those are the bounds of my sleeves and then there and there are the bounds of my legs and then the collar line is going to be here, nope see that's what happens when you live life on the edge and then what I do is I personally hide it then press Control and L after select something inside so I select linked with the delimit set to normal if you do seem you won't have the arm selected unhide that we have everything we need so this is the area our trench coat is going to cover what we're going to do now is we're just going to quickly press a shift and D to duplicate leave it in the same position and then the most important bit we're going to press P so we can separate our new duplicate from its original mesh into a new one as you can see here Uma human male 01 so you can switch between the two lovely job so just gonna rename this to um, short trench just so I can differentiate and then this is where you would undertake any editing you need to do I'm not going to do that for this video I assume you know how to do it so I'm just very quickly gonna take away the chest just so we've got an open coat quickly take away a bit of legs and uh, take away this groin area section and just to prove that uh, it's what we're doing here I'm also going to change a few of the vertices don't forget if it's easy you can hide your human mail with that and also bear in mind that what I'm doing on the left is on the right because uh, Uma Blender dot blend comes by default with X mirror on so if you want to do a spike on the shoulder you need to turn X mirror off before doing so so now we have a spike on our shoulder anything you do needs to be done at this point if you're changing the shape of your mesh do not do anything beyond this point so you need to make sure you're happy with this design before continuing ordinarily I wouldn't be but I'm more worried about showing you what's going on so gonna show our human mail again next step we're going to uh, go to tools and we're going to hit shrink flatten bear in mind not scale shrink flatten because this way it will extrude according to the normals and we're going to make it big enough uh, in my case so I can fit clothing underneath it but obviously if you're making something different you can have it fairly skin tight but the idea is is to prevent too much in the way of overlapping uh, where meshes are crossing over each other um, once that's done what we're also going to do because at the moment we wouldn't see the inside of the coat um, in unity as it wouldn't have any normals we're going to add a modifier we're going to add a modifier by clicking the wrench add modifier and selecting solidify usually any thickness around about 0 0.01 is fine I sometimes go as low as 0 0.008 uh, we'll leave it at 0 0.09 for that what you need to make sure you do as well is uh, go back to object mode and click apply when you are happy it'll come up with this applied modifier was not first that's to do with the armature don't worry about that so now we've got the model last thing we need to do at this point is uh, open this up in our hierarchy and you'll see we have a series of materials make sure we only have these materials selected what we're going to do is right click and unlink because in its current format but due to the links we'd probably only see the torso area of our model um, in game all kinds of reasons and we want to create a material from scratch but once you've done that provided uh, you're entirely happy that's the modeling side of this completely done that's all you have to do after that, obviously, we need to look at seams, UVing, and actually making our own textures. But that will come in the next video. So, hope that was informative, and see you in the next video.